In this video, we're searing lamb shanks. We're ninja chopping vegetables and we're putting it all in the oven. If you don't like lamb, look away now and let's get into it. I've got a ton of gravel in my shoes. Girl on my shoulder, heart full of blues. And in the, dirt. the main ingredient is lamb shanks and you want to make sure you support your local butcher with some good quality meat. Fire up the barbie, drop on the cast iron skillet, put some oil in and let it get up to temperature. All right, now let's start the cooking. Grab a nice little lamb shank out and you want to lightly brown them for about 10 to 15 minutes in the pot. Add a good handful of sea salt, rock salt or table cooking salt. Turn regularly so you don't burn them. Stand the lamb shanks up on their bony ends to make sure that you put all the heat up through the shank and keep turning the new ones as you keep adding them to the pan. How are we looking now? Is it starting to get better? Now you want to slice up some of those vegetables. If you can do it this way, that's even better. If not, just do it this normal way. Continue to keep your eye on the lamb shank and keep turning regularly. Once they're done, take them off, sit them aside to rest and start putting a big wad of butter in to cook your carrots and your onions in. Start to add all your carrots and cook them down for about five minutes just to soften them. Then throw in the onions. Now it's time for the garlic. Throw in three heaped teaspoons or three cloves of garlic. Yes, I know it's three. And stir that right through. All right, once that's all, the aromatics are out there and it's all softened, put your lamb shanks into a baking dish and start to add all your vegetables on top. And make sure you don't fog up the lens of your camera. Mix it through and then it's time to add the stock. We're using a beef stock here. We're going to use about one and a half litres. We want to totally submerge all those lamb shanks so that they soften once we put it into the oven. We're using a can of Italian diced tomatoes. You put that in as well and make sure that you get that nice tomato-y flavor through the meat. Now guys, you can also add tomato paste, but we didn't in this one. Now it's time to add some thyme and also some rosemary. Cover it up with some tin foil. Place it in the oven at 175 degrees for two hours. That's 175 degrees Celsius. Two hours on the clock and while that's getting done it's time to help out in the kitchen and make sure you clean up your mess. Checking on it after an hour, everything's starting to look good, it's time for the potatoes. Cut all the potatoes into equal sizes, chuck them in a pot and get them on the boil. Time has gone off, oh that looks so good guys if you could just smell it, it smells absolutely amazing. The aromatics is just fantastic. Now it's time to take the potatoes off the oven and get them ready for mashing. Drain them well, also be careful you don't burn yourself. Then we want to add a heap of butter. Add as much butter as you're allowed. Mix it in with some milk, give it a good old karate chop and a few squashes. Watch your fingers though that you don't cut them and beat them up until they're nice and light. Getting back to the meat, it's still bubbling away while it's, it's resting. I'm going to check it now, turn it over, pull on it a little bit. If it's soft and just comes away from the bone, you know that it's ready. Now it's time to add some corn kernels. I like adding this last because they don't need to be cooked. They just need to be heated through. So I sprinkle them in. Well, I even put the metal in there because that is good for your iron levels. No, no, just kidding. We'll take that out. All right, this is where it gets a bit messy. In my house, the four boys, the men, and myself, six people, we just start chucking that stuff everywhere. The lamb shanks go out, we stir through the broth, we pour that all over the top, and we make a real mess because everyone's standing there starving by this stage. I certainly didn't win any awards for, for artwork, but this is the finished product. This is what it's like 10 minutes later. And just remember, guys, even Mary had a little lamb. Get out and get yours today. Thanks for watching.